help support cognitive function, mood regulation, and enhances your immune system. And so omega-3s really play a crucial role in maintaining vitality and longevity. Omega-3 fatty acids, more than just heart health. Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Lam. Today we're going to be talking about omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are a type of polyunsaturated fat that are considered essential nutrients for human health. Essential means that our bodies really cannot produce these fatty acids on our own, so we need to actually obtain them from our diet. The three main types of omega-3 fatty acids are alpha-linolenic acid. This is found in plant sources such as flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, and soybeans. Alpha-linolenic acid is converted into the body into two other important omega-3 fatty acids, that's EPA and DHA, although the conversion rate is relatively low. Eicosapentaenoic acid, EPA, is primarily found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, trout, and sardines. It can also be found in fish oil supplements. Docosahexaenoic acid, DHA, is another omega-3 fatty acid found in fatty fish, seafood, and fish oil supplements. It's a major structural component of the brain, retina, and eyes, and skin. DHA is crucial for brain development and function, eye health, and helping to maintain the integrity of cell membranes. Are omega-3 fatty acids good for you? Well, omega-3 fatty acids offer a plethora of health benefits, and these essential nutrients, including the alpha-linolenic acid, EPA, and DHA, play vital roles in various aspects of human health. EPA and DHA, primarily found in fatty fish like salmon and trout or fish oil supplements, are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, which contribute to reducing risk of heart disease and supporting joint health. Even though the FDA has actually deemed the results inconsistent and inconclusive. Moreover, DHA is crucial for brain development and function, eye health, and maintaining healthy skin. So beyond physical health, omega-3 fatty acids are associated with improved mood and mental health, with EPA in particularly showing promise in alleviating symptoms of sadness and anxiousness. Additionally, omega-3s may support immune function and reduce your inflammatory response throughout the body and promote overall well-being. Omegas have also been shown to be able to lower your triglyceride levels. What are some good food sources of omega-3 fatty acids, especially if you can't eat fish? Even though the best food sources of omega-3 fatty acids are usually the fatty fish, like salmon or mackerel, trout, sardines, or tuna, they are more rich in EPA and DHA and the recommendation is to include them in the diet two to three times a week. For plant-based sources, flax seeds, flaxseed oil can actually provide ALA omega-3 fatty acids, which can be easily incorporated by grinding the seeds or using the oil in the cooking. Chia seeds also have the alpha-linolenic acid omega-3s, which can be definitely sprinkled on various dishes or you can make chia seed pudding. Walnuts are also a great, convenient, tasty option for alpha-linolenic acid omega-3s, suitable for snacking, adding to salads, oatmeals, or baked goods. Hemp seeds are another plant-based source, versatile enough for yogurts and smoothies and salads. And for those preferring soy-based options, soybeans and tofu can also provide alpha-linolenic acid omega-3s and can be included in stir-fry salad or soups. Lastly, canola oil serves as a source of ALA omega-3 fatty acids, suitable for cooking, baking, and salad dressings, but probably better used in lower amounts. How much omega-3 should you have, and can you actually have too many omega-3 fatty acids? The recommended intake of omega-3 fatty acids varies depending on factors such as age, sex, health, status, and specific health goals. However, general guidelines suggest consuming about 250 to 500 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA omega-3s per day for overall health maintenance. For individuals with specific health concerns, such as the high triglycerides uh, or cardiovascular disease, higher doses up to 1 to 2,000 milligrams of omega-3s may be recommended under the guidance of your healthcare professional or coach. As for the question of whether you can have too many omega-3 fatty acids, while omega-3s are beneficial for health, excessive intake can potentially lead to adverse effects. So as consuming very high doses of omega-3 supplements, particularly in the form of fish oil, can increase the risk of bleeding 
can also lower immune function and interfere with blood clotting. So be very careful, especially if you're taking any blood thinning medications or supplementation. Additionally, excessive intake of omega-3s may cause gastrointestinal issues, such as diarrhea or nausea. Have you taken any omega-3 supplements? Share it in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and follow to stay updated. Should you be concerned about mercury in the fish? Common side effects of omega-3 supplementation can include the digestive issues like diarrhea, bloating, gassiness, or indigestion. Additionally, we talked about the blood thinning properties, which can increase your risk of bleeding and bruising, especially for those who are already taking blood thinning medications like warfarin or aspirin. Some individuals may experience a slight increase in their LDL, which is their bad cholesterol, with high dose supplementation. And omega-3 supplements can also interact with certain medications. Some people could also experience fishy aftertastes or burps. Be very careful about where you get your fish oil because you want to make sure it's highly molecularly distilled to have low mercury levels. What is the difference between omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids? Omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids are distinct types of unsaturated fats, each with unique structures and roles in the body. Omega-3s are the polyunsaturated fats characterized by that double bond at the third carbon atom. They're essential for the brain function, the growth development, and reducing inflammation. Omega-6s are also polyunsaturated, but have their double bond at the sixth carbon, and they are found in vegetable oils and nuts. They are crucial for immune response, but can promote inflammation if it consumed in excess relative to omega-3s. Omega-9s are monounsaturated with a double bond at the ninth carbon and can be produced by the body though they're also very beneficial when consumed from sources like olive oil and avocados, and they can help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. So balancing these fatty acids is key, as modern diets often have high omega-6s and low omega-3 levels. That's because of all the oils, plant oils that are used. So we want to be able to reduce that ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. And when choosing an omega-3 supplement, it's essential to opt for molecularly distilled fish oil, which resolve, removes contaminants like mercury. And it ensures supplement specifies that fish are wild caught from clean sources, such as sardines, mackerel, krill, or anchovies, because these are smaller fish. The oil should remain liquid even when frozen, indicating low saturation and high purity. Look for products with added antioxidants like vitamin E to help maintain the freshness and check for the levels of EPA and DHA, as these are the beneficial omega-3 fatty acids. And also consider brands that have sustainable fishing practices. Omega-3 fatty acids are indispensable for optimal health, offering a wealth of benefits that extend just far beyond heart health. It helps support cognitive function, mood regulation, and enhances your immune system. And so omega-3s really play a crucial role in maintaining vitality and longevity. So whether you're incorporating it into your diet or considering supplementation, prioritizing your omega-3 intake can have profound effects on your well-being. If you would like to know a little more or talk about your health issues, you can definitely give us a call today. We're here to empower you to take control of your health.